<clears throat> okay, we've got to do this right. <gasps> Moonlighter! Yay, it's Moonlighter! Welcome to my latest addiction. Not really, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I was playing this uh, on stream last weekend, and yeah, I really like Moonlighter. I've had it recommended and requested forever. Um, I've been well aware of Moonlighter, but I never wanted to jump into it because the uniqueness of the gameplay kind of worried me. You see, Moonlighter is not just a typical dungeon crawling roguelite. No, 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 no. It is also a capitalism simulator. And you might be wondering what that means and asking, but Beals, what do you mean it's a capitalism simulator? Well, you see, the point of Moonlighter is that you are a humble shopkeep who ventures forth and goes into nasty dungeons and kills enemies and loots their, their bits and pieces and then comes back and sells them for massive profit. And that's kind of the, uh, and that's more or less the, uh, the hot and gritty, the sticky and messy and the nasty and ewy of the situation where, uh, we go out, we kill, we take stuff, we come back and we, we sell for humble prices. Humble prices. Now, like I said, I only started this on stream last weekend, so I have not made lots of progress. Anyone else who's played Moonlighter can tell I'm not exactly far in progress, but I have some some gear. You you get gear, you you know, you outfit items on yourself. But I have some stuff, I got some booties, I'm a claw user, you know, claw for life, and some other, you know, whatever things, but I'll go into the basic dungeon. I'm, I'm <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit powerful for this place. So if I if I decimate all of the scum inside, don't blame me. Blame blame the game for not getting on my level. Anyway, we make our way around. We smack everything and kill it with a single hit and loot drops. You see the looties? You see the looties? Uh, smack that. Uh, smack that. Look at all the looties. Now, some of this is hot trash, and I will get rid of it, but the other stuff- It's stuck, it's stuck, there we go. Um, the other stuff, we're looking to obtain things that are worth money. We want cash. So, once we start looting things- Look at my little slime, that's my pet, by the way. My little pet slime going over there and doing great work. Uh, we have items that we're collecting in our bags. All the stuff up the top, by the way, I've learned uh, these things up here. If I die, I keep them and they come back with me. Everything else in this big backpack here, if I die, I lose it. So I can't die, all right? But we're looking to obtain some stuff. So far, nothing stands out. Oh, look at this big slime. Oh, he's dead, that's it. We take his gooey bits, we move on. We go into the next room. I need to find some genuinely intriguing or decent items, because so far, it's all just a little bit meh. I'm getting confused. Which slime is mine? Which slime is theirs? Slime fight? <laughs> Yo, slime fight? Get him, slime. Oh! My slime is king slime. My slime is the slime. Slime maker from Dungreed, move over. There's a new big king slime in town. We have a map that we can pop up and take a look at. It's all, you know, rooms based. Very, very top down, isometric room based kind of game. Pretty simple. You have, you know, a roll, which is a very good roll, mind you. Very good roll indeed. You have your regular attack, you can do cool attack strings, and there's a, a charged up ability, it's like a special button. If you've got a shield and sword, it blocks. If you've got a, a fist or a spear, it does one of these. I've got a bow with me, but I almost never use it. You can charge up a nice big bow attack right there. Let's go shoot something. No. Thank you, my little slime. My little slime stuns things for me, as well as does a little bit of damage. He's nice, he's nice. Oh, an enchantment crystal, thank you, I'll take that. Kill this, no, okay, cool, that's fair. Punch it. The chest in the middle was was draining away into that goo and I had to kill the enemies in time to get it. Now, we have some items in the chest, but they are cursed. That little pink icon tells us that they are cursed and from reading it, artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. So if I auto loot it, it will just place it wherever is convenient for me. Once again, the same kind of problem. We'll take these items there. They're all right. They're not, they're not bad. They're worth something. They're worth something. Oh, golems! Watch out, Beals. There are some, some nasty big stone golems. Oh, jab him. Jab him. Jab him. Get his golem bits. Smack this one. Smack that slime. Take all of his stuff. Yay! Loot the chest. What's in here? More cursed stuff to the left or the right. To the left or the right. That's fine. Doesn't matter. I can just auto loot and it will go wherever I need it to automatically. Wait, that's a little boss room, right? You know what? Let's go to the boss room. Let's just go take care of the mini boss and then move on to the next floor. Mini boss, big golem. Oh, he's dead, too bad. It's just because I'm so powerful. <laughs> Moving right along, golem dungeon floor two. Kill this thing. Whoa, look at Mr. Snipey over here trying to take some pot shots at me. Uh, 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 a couple of quick hits in the back and he dies, as all golems should. 
Now, ooh, we have some new ones. Hardened Steel, it destroys one artifact in the direction shown upon returning to town. So if I go back to town and this thing is there, it's going to destroy this item. That's bad. So I want to pick it up and I want to move it to over about here where it's not going to get in anyone's way. Now, our bags are full. It's time to start ditching stuff. And this is where my handy dandy little compendium of information comes in. Once you start selling stuff and figuring out what people like and don't like, you get an idea about what their value is. Now, I'll go over this more when I get back to the shop, but all you really need to look at is the little happy smiley face with the little number five there. That that column is what I care about uh, in terms of going back and what things are priced at. So these roots are worth damn near next to nothing. So I'm going to drop them down here in the merchant mirror, which automatically sells them, and I get a little bit of money for it. Same with these vines. Let's take these over here, ditch them. There's one more vine left over here, ditch it. And uh, this whetstone over here, this whetstone is worth uh, hot garbage. These teeth stone are worth five gold each. Trash. Which I can say because when compared to some of these other things that sell for 165 or 300, 110 over here. Uh, yeah, they're hot trash compared to. Now, up here we have mystery stuff. The curse means we don't know what they are. However, that's okay because it also means that, you know, we don't have to worry about them being a bad curse thing. They can just go wherever they want and we'll find out what they are when we get back to the town. Now, this ancient pot, it destroys one curse in the direction of showman placed. So, if I really wanted to know what those four mystery items were, I could place it to the left of this and it would reveal what they are. However, however, in saying that, we have two artifacts here that are going to destroy an item uh, and get in the way and just be overall annoying. Now, oh wait, before I do anything else, I should mention that if an artifact is cursed, we have three here, three of these bars right here, steel. You can't stack them because the game treats them as being a different thing. However, if we take them over here, destroy the curse, curse lifted, we can now stack them. So this saves inventory space. The game boils down to inventory management. And uh, if you want to get the bang for your buck- No, slime! He was trying to give me that big cuddle. Um, if you want to get the best bang for your bucko, then you better get to managing your inventory and getting used to- I did that for a reason, don't worry, I'll explain why I went back out and back in, because I wasn't paying attention, that's a nothing room, don't worry about it. New room! Oh, I'm so excited, let's go! What's in this room? Stuff! It shot me, it's okay, I've got armor. Punch it, punch it, punch it. I'm not, I'm not bothered by what you're doing, dude, I'm not really bothered whatsoever. What's in the chest? More mystery stuff, don't mind if I do. Now we've got some slime up here, slime is pretty much meh, it's a pretty... Pretty eh uh, item. We've got some more jelly over here. Eh, uh, pretty eh uh, item. However, we've got some white stone, which is very profitable indeed. Let's take some white stone and even more hardened steel that destroys items nearby. Now, I have two different ones of these. I've got, why have I got two separate stacks of these iron bars? Wait, do they sell for anything? 25? Ah, they sell for pretty much nothing. That's not even worth my time. Now, seeing as how we have this bar here that's going to freely get rid of a curse for us, let's use it to get rid of the curse stuff on this white stone. So now if we get more normal white stones, they'll stack better. But more importantly, we can now stack these together because we have two non-cursed ones of the same thing. There's a skeleton up here. Smack it for great rewards, like this potion that I'll probably get rid of because I already have five potions. And you can only keep potions in stacks of five, which means it's just taking up my inventory space. Oh, big golem! Smack the golem! He smacked me first, but I don't care. Another big golem. Roll through. Get to his backside. Give him the backstabs. Open this up, and what do we have inside? We have more of this, but it'll stack with the cursed stuff in the bottom, because we already have some. And like I said before, I'm gonna ditch this. I'm gonna ditch these. I'm gonna ditch these. So we can fit these stacks of random stuff. I don't know what they are, but I can almost guarantee you they're worth more than five gold apiece, which is what I would get for some of those things I just sold. So I'm happy about that. Oh, come into here. We have Roly Poly, dude. Come at me, man. He rolls into the wall, hurts himself, and I can punch him and beat him up and take his stuff. Can't hurt him unless he, he knocks himself out against a wall. Big slime hand. Only hurt it after it makes an attack. I don't want the slime that it drops. The slime is used to make potions. Uh, or at least it makes potions cheaper to, to obtain. But I'm not worried about that whatsoever. I did pick up some stuff just then that I don't want, right? Didn't I? In here, do we have boss? We have boss! Boss confirmed! Oh, oh, he's teleporting. He's teleporting. Avoid that. Yep. That attack is really annoying to deal with. I know a lot of people hate it, don't like it, and are straight up disappointed by it on a regular basis. 
I might ditch this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ditch this really quick to ah, make some room. I've got two of these stacking individually, and I don't know why. That's kind of incredibly frustrating. How much do these stack up to? 10? Not bad, not bad. Uh, nothing else sitting in here that isn't already stacked with something that it should be stacked with. I don't think so. Anyway, I did not want to pick up the stupid iron bars. Get rid of the iron bars. Instead, we've picked up some golem chisels, which sell for 450 each. That's very nice. And then we picked up a rune tool. This is the cash money. 1500 guaranteed monies. Love it. You gotta love it. Move into the next floor. We're gonna go and make some big dollars. Golem dungeon level three. Yeah, knock stuff out. Punch it. Punch it all. Punch it all. Wait, why is this guy getting stuck on a rock? Stop it. He's being weird. Jab. Jab, jab. Take his golem rocks. Open up this chest. Ah, books. Look at all this high tier stuff. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. I love this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to make some uh, some decisions here. That sells for 100. That sells for 100. You know what? Ditch that. Ditch that. And I may as well already ditch that. There we go. Because the books sell for 400 each. Fantastic. It destroys an item to the left of it upon returning to town. Thankfully, I can uh, put it somewhere that's not in the way. Yeah, there we go. We'll let the book sit up there. Now, let's move this really quick. Now, we have these golem designs that I'm going to stick over here. And then I'm going to do something a little different. You see, this curse right here is that it immediately sends whatever is to the left of it to town. Back to my shop. So if I stick this in here, meow, away it goes. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. Those are designed self for 1500 each, the same as the rune tool. They're very uh, expensive, very good to keep. So instead of running the risk of losing them, I'm just going to teleport them straight back to home. And this right here, the, uh, the minion design, has a special curse that upon returning to town, whatever is directly below it will turn into duplicates of it. And since this sells for 360, as long as I duplicate, I don't know, whatever my least selling thing here is, 110, 300, well that's two, I know that's already 275, I know that's expensive. 250, 165, guess what, crystallized energy? You're winners, but I'm going to be smart because I know that these papers can only stack in lots of five. So if I do this, now those five will turn into more golem designs. Now, hold on a minute. I'm going to move some stuff around really quick. Why can't I do that? Oh, because it needs to be on the, on the corner. That's fine. Let's move that. Let's take you out for a minute. Let's take you, which this uh, removes a curse. We've gone over this one already. We're going to ditch the curse on this little broken sword, which makes it clean. So now we can stack it over here. And now we can take the last two things and put them in. And we've got some room. Look at that. Mike, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, put these up here, actually. Look at this management. Look at this inventory management. I told you. I, I warned you. I told you. In here, what do we have? Punch it. Smack it. Make it dead. These stupid little drones are trying to go over there and loot stuff. I don't want to let them. Knock this golem out. He's dropping his golem balls everywhere. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys are probably paying way more attention than I am, but I don't think I've had the opportunity of heading into a secret room yet, which makes me a little bit sad because I want to show you guys secret rooms. Anyway, let's open up this chest really quick. What do we have in here? Look at this stuff, more stuff, more things. We have more golem designs that will change whatever is in its direction into more copies of itself. Um, I could actually do this. See, if I'd saved the the other crystallized energy, I could do that. Um, or I can go back. I could actually go back and get those, those bars in the other room and do it to those to get some profit. However, I should use these two things here to make some room. So anything that's already stacked up that I want to just send home. You know what? Let's send these mystery things home. Um, they're not really gonna, I can't stack them, I can't manipulate them, I, I can't even sell them without risk of knowing what they are, so let's put this here, so it teleports home, then we can stack that up on top of it like so, and let's just grab another, I don't really care what, another thing that's mystery, take this, drop that there, there we go, send it home. No idea what they are, but I mean, 
Ah, I'm not too fussed. It's it's fine. As long as they're worth anything, I'm okay with that. So these old designs, put them over here. I'll take this, stick that there. And let's see. What do I want to make them into more? 450, 360. Okay, so the chisel. Ah, I need to I need to do some some more rearranging. Inventory management. Put the chisel in here. And these little golem cores are now going to turn into chisels. When I get back to the town, that is. Yay! Now, these these red crystals right here, these empowering crystals, are used for enchanting, and I normally like to try and keep one stack to take back with me when I finish a dungeon run. Um, The, the worst case scenario could still happen where I decide, no, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to uh, uh, ditch them. But for now, I'd like to try and keep them. So, this is interesting, actually. I need to do a little bit of moving around, a little bit of manipulation because I'm not a fan of what I'm looking at. Move the broken swords over here, move this design over here, and then we can just stick these back in wherever. There we go. So, so far we've got nothing being destroyed over here, a bunch of random stuff. The swords are going to get turned into uh, old golem minion designs. This is going to, well, these, these cores, these crystals are going to get turned into... Hold up, I can make this more efficient. I just realized something. These sell for 160, these sell for 110. This will only make a stack of five, so I technically have four to spare. So if I stick those four there, I can take a less, uh, an item worth less and make it into something worth more. And these four little leftover broken swords, unfortunately, I'm just gonna ditch. But I get 160 gold for that, which isn't terrible. It could be worse. It's all about making decisions, about making those hard choices, because you want to take everything back with you and be like, I want all of it. Wow, that that stun actually screwed me, little dude. Thank you for that. There's our enchanting crystal. I think that's a full stack of five. Ah, more stuff. Look at this. Wait, we can destroy some curses. This is good. This is really good. Uh, what curses do I despise the most right now? Okay, we have two separate stacks of books that are all doing something stupid. So you know what? Let's take this out and let's put this little block of ice in. Changes the books into normal books, and now we can stack the little white stone. I call it an ice block. It looks like an ice block, right? White stone. Yeah, it looks more like an ice block to me, dude. Let's take that out for a second. Drop this fabric in, which is going to change the books into normal books. Now we can stack them even more. I'm going to have one left over, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I'll live with it. We can put that there. We can stack. Wait, we can't stack. Damn it. I think it's time to get rid of these. I'm sorry, but we're, we're just going to have to get rid of them. Just ditch them. Instead of leaving them there, best to sell them and make some money back. Now, i got to make room for our golem designs. That sells for 1500 What cutthroat decision? What absolute scum dummery am I going to do? That sells for 400 That sells for 300 That sells for 250 each. I'm just going to sell the golem cores. I, I don't care. I mean, it's a stack of 10, but... Ah, it's... It's whatever. Someone told me that because it's a stack of, of golem cores, it goes up to 10, and you can get them as a stack of 10 as opposed to most of these others that are like stacks of 5. You could treat the golems as being twice the value, um, because you can stack them more. So that 110, pretend it's like 220, right? But, but, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna make room and, and, and get some better stuff. I don't care if you hit me, dude. I've got lots of Lots of, of armor and, and survivability on my side. I don't care about these items either. Move through. Oh, big rocky dude. Bump yourself. Bump yourself. Oh, those are worth like 60 each. They're trash. Don't worry. They're worth nothing. Yeah, speaking of worth nothing. Let's leave. Let's leave. Didn't find anything in here. I still desperately have my, my eyes peeled for looking for a, uh, a secret room. I can't believe I haven't found one yet. I thought finding secret rooms was supposed to be, you know... Easy. Not that secret. And in here we have a special room. It's it's connecting to the, the biome for the second dungeon. The 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 naturey place. Ooh. With different enemies and everything's all crazy and stuff. And none of these items that they dropped are actually worth that much for me, so I'm just gonna ignore them. I think we should be moving in towards the end, right? We should be getting close to the end of this little place right here. Open this up. What do we have in here? Ooh, we got some curse destruction. I like curse destruction. And we have some send home immediately stuff. I love the send home immediately stuff. Look at it. It's brilliant. So in the vein of being super badass cool, I'm going to do a little bit of this really quickly. And if we uh, cleanse the fabrics, I can now 
stack some fabrics. Look at that. Fabrics are stacked. This little curse down here. Artifact breaks if you receive too many hits. Oh no! Don't receive too many hits or it will be destroyed. Doesn't matter because I'm going to stick it up here and then use this to cleanse its negative effect. And then I can stack it. Beautiful. I can then stack the book. Even more beautiful. I can take my old golem minion design and my regular golem designs. I can put those back in. But before we do that, before we do that, I'm going to send some stuff home. What should I send home? Probably my four runic tools, if I'm being thoroughly honest with you, because I'd rather keep the good expensive stuff and make sure it gets home. And then we can finally move that. So our cursed thing that destroys an item to its diagonal isn't targeting something. We can take our chisel and stack it with the other chisels down here. They sell for a little bit of money. It's nice. It's nice. Actually, they sell for more money than these, these plans do. Wait, no, this plan's the expensive plan, isn't it? Yep. Put that in the main bag. Put that down there. Look at that. Inventory management. We're doing it. We're doing it, people. Look at this thing. This thing is annoying. Die. Open up our chest. What else have we got? Look, we've got more stuff. Now, my goodness, the first and foremost thing I'm going to do is probably to send those books home. I just need to get stuff out of the way. Get stuff out of my inventory. I know that the books are there. I know they sell for a nice little bit of money. Actually, I can stack these now. There we go. Those can get stacked. I can stick this in there. Get rid of its curse thingy. Bam. Get rid of that. And now stack them with each other. Stack this with this. There we go. I can put these two in here, and I've suddenly lost my empowering crystals. Actually, the gold runes, I've only got one gold rune up here, and it's probably not going to get used by anything, for anything, so let's just do a little bit of that instead. Oh, we get to go and fight the next, the next area boss thingy. Mmm, we're at the end. So this room was originally the main boss fight, it's like the big golem king guy, but... It seems as though once you've killed him, he doesn't come back. So instead, there's a bunch of chests in the room, and they all want to sink into the ground. So what we need to do is actually kill all these enemies in time. Yay! And all the chests are here. They didn't all sink into the abyss. Are you guys ready for some hardcore inventory management? There, and now we take the last mystery thing. Fantastic. These will turn into those. This will turn into that. There, we're done. All of this is finished. If I really wanted to micromanage stuff, I'd pick up all of this trash loot that some of the enemies dropped, and I would vendor all of that to my little destruction thing as well, but I'm not going to waste your time with such small things. And there's our loot. You can see the uh, items that were being transformed have transformed. They've changed into good stuff. We're home. It's time to head back to the shop, head inside, and set up the greatest game ever invented by man. Capitalism. So it's time to get to selling. Let's put our items down. So we have some golem designs. Now, thankfully... Ooh, that's in high demand. Hang on a minute. A high demand item deserves to go in the glass cabinet where thieves can't get it. And seeing as how it's in high demand, I might jack the price up a little bit and see if people are interested. This is the most fun part of the game. Don't argue with me. This is the fun part. Now, I said I would explain this page more, and I'm right about to. So, you can see the smiley face 1500. That is the perfect price that you should sell your item for. If you're selling your item for too little money, like you're undercutting yourself, a little gold coin face will appear and tell you that, oh no, you are selling for a loss. You should increase your price. The really? 
Really? Means you're selling a little high and your customers aren't pleased with your greedy ass. And the last phase is simply a no. I'm not buying that. However, because down in the popularity, it is high in high demand, people will pay more for things that are in high demand. So I've jacked that price up to $16.50. And I won't lie, because I've sold a lot of these items before, if I just drop them in, the game remembers what their value was before and will automatically set them for a certain price. But I'm going to drop that up a little bit higher than $1,500 because they're in high demand. Let's take some of these golem designs, drop them in there. 1700 each, they are in high demand, so I see no reason to sell. Like, they, we can see they have sold for 1700 before with a bit of a dejected face on, but you know, they will sell. Drop a stack of these old golem designs. Why is everything in high demand today? Now coming up here into my storage, I have some other items that I collected from a previous run that hadn't gotten a chance to sell because you only get a certain amount of time that the shop remains open. So I'll take all of these out as well. But oh no, look at this. All of our stands are full. I guess it's time to open the shop. Customers come in and it's time for the most fun part of the game. Oh my God, is this guy gonna go over here? He's looking at the golem patterns. He's looking at them. He's going over towards them. He's inspecting, he's inspecting. He knows they're in high demand and he's happy. He wants them. He takes the items and he comes over towards the cash register where I'm going to make a fat transaction. This guy did, wait, old lady just took that item for a cheap price. I had no idea what that was worth. It was an item from a new dungeon, never seen it before. Person over here grabs these items. Gonna come over here to get glass cabinet over this way. Drop these in there. It's in high demand. I'm not gonna sell it for the base price. You can pay me a little bit extra. Dejected sigh. Oh no, big oof over there. This item is not worth 500 gold. I need to drop that down. Let's cut down to about 300 or so. We've got an empty space over here. I'm gonna drop golem designs. Level one over here. Five of them, that's a fat bit of cash. Put that up to 1700 each. You guys will pay the price, I know you will. Drop the books over here, also in high demand. Everything Golem is in high demand today. I did not plan this, I had no idea. Waiting for more customers. This guy's coming looking for armor, weapons and armor and stuff like that. I don't have any right now. So Purple Dude is going to be disappointed, as was Barbarian Girl with that massive, massive hammer. Person up there looking at my wares, looking at my wares. He's picking it up. Now, 1,500 gold. You see it was worth 1,500 gold, but I've got a lot of ornaments in the shop that increase the price of things. So people pay an extra fat tip. 9,000! 9, 9,000! This person bought that. This dude's waiting to buy some, some, some things. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I get it. I get it. You're waiting in the queue. You're waiting to buy more runes, more, more rune tools. There you go. Buy the rune tools. Come over here to this cabinet over here at the side over here. Uh, drop some gold runes in there. I know I could put something more expensive in there, but I don't care. I don't have the price of what what I can sell them for if they are in demand. So I'm just going to jack it up by an extra 100. Do the same thing over here. Drop some more of these over there. Uh, no, do the same thing. No, get, no, no, no. 400. Perfect. We roll over here to this table. We put some stuff over on this table here. We put some uh, some books and tools. And look, all of the stuff is selling for more than it's worth. So an extra 100 over here. An extra 100 over there. I'm sure they'll sell. People aren't that stingy, I'm sure. This is all high demand stuff. Oh, you like those rune tools over there, huh? You like those rune tools? You want to buy those rune tools? Yeah, you do. I'm going to quickly get into here and drop some new wares after she's finished picking that up. Let's drop it up for an extra 100 gold. Come over here. Come to the... That's a thief. Look, 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 look. A thief has entered the shop. He's going to look for some of that high value stuff and try and make off with my loot. My hard earned loot. This guy's going to buy those bars. While he's buying those bars, I'm going to place them with some ice. Sorry, it's not ice. They're just white stone. An extra 100 on that because they're in high demand. He's going to come over here to the cash register. Hey, hey, A purchase is made. Whoa. Transaction complete. He's trying to take my stuff. Roll into him. Give me my stuff back. He walks out bruised and battered and beaten. I actually broke his legs, both of them. Anyway, we'll put the gold designs back in again because he took them off my shelf. I have to put them back and, and, and reset the value. Get the books, come over here, put them down. Uh, increase the value to 500 each. This person's grabbed some stuff. There's a witch waiting to talk to me over here. Hello, witch, what would you like? Can I get five times modified seeds within three days? It's a special order. Um, I think the granny at the start of this day just bought my last seeds and uh, for a little bit too less, I got ripped off. I'm not gonna say yes to that because I have absolutely no intention of going and getting her seeds. So instead, I'm gonna wait. Another person came in. She wants preserved roots within three days. No, go away, lady. I don't care about your roots. I care no. about this guy buying my golem books, which I can replace immediately with some more golem designs. Get in there, lad. Look, 1700. It already knows. It already knows what I want to sell it for. There, books. Speaking of books, you want some books? You get that books, dude. You get those books. Golem designs level one. We've jacked up to 16, 1700 even. 1700 gold. This guy's gonna come over here, come over here, buy the books, buy the books, buy the books. Purchase has been made, come over here really quickly. Let's drop some more white rocks in there. No, 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 no. 
Put up the price, put up the price. Quick, transaction. If they get impatient, if they sit there for too long... What do you mean my rocks are worth too much? How dare you tell me that my rocks are not worth 375? You know what? Let's drop it down to about 315. Would you buy it for 315? Can I haggle with you a little bit? You want to buy my rocks for 315? I set the other ones as well because they're, they're also going for the same rate each. Oh, chisels. You like those chisels? Like those patterns? You like those goods? Yeah, you both do. You both want that stuff. Good, good. You know you want it. Put the chisels in there. 450. I haven't... Have I been selling my chisels for 450 so far? I'm not sure anyone... Wait, this guy's buying the chisels for 450. Thank you for validating what I already know, that my chisels are worth 450 gold. Over here, we've got some more bars. Sell the bars, sell the bars. We need to sell the bars for about, what, 400 each? This person just bought some books. Put the, the old golem designs in there. I can sell those. You know what I'm going to... I'm going to be modest with these. 400. How about that? Sell the books over here. Next person. Are you going to buy something, lady? Or are you looking for gear? She's, she's, a, she's a gladiator. She's a warrior. She's got a massive hammer. I know half of you in the, in the audience would like to have that hammer smacked over your head. People pay good money for that kind of stuff, but instead I'm not going to let her get anything because I'm not selling any weapons today. Instead, the chisel lady up here grabbing a chisel. I have my one last lonely little chisel left, which is going to sell for a lovely 500 each. A clean sale, if I've ever seen one in my life. Bye. There we go. She purchased. I'm making so much extra money, by the way, because of these ornaments that are placed all over the, all over the shop that make them pay an extra tip. I think I'm getting an 80% tip on top of the regular retail sale. So that one chisel was 500 gold. Watch how much I make from this. 950. I think it's more than 80%. I don't know how much extra percentage I'm actually getting because it's rounding numbers, but man, I am making bank over here. Can I get some more people buying stuff? Armor and stuff? No, no, dude. I'm not going to be able to sell you any armor, I'm afraid. The, the, the ice block is being sold. The white stone. I knew I was right, dropping it down to 315 each. A sale. A clean sale has been made. Over here, sir. Are you interested? Are you interested? Would you like to buy that? Ma'am, hello. I'd love to sell you those golem designs for a fat chunk of 16,000 gold. Oh, my God. 3,800 for this guy. He's a little bit cheap. He's not looking for those golem designs. It's okay. Granny knew what she wanted. 760 there. I've only got three items left. Must go now. The day is running out. It's almost nighttime. People, please. I need you to purchase these items. Look at them walking around browsing, doing absolutely nothing. You're wasting my time. Time is money, friend. Electricity, no! Anyway, at the end of the day, we had 34 customers, one thief who got absolutely rocked. We made a lot of money here. A lot of it came off the rune tools. Rune tools sell for a lot, especially because you can get a lot of them. They're not excessively rare. They stack in lots of five, which, eh, it's whatever, but you know. That's just 10. We only sold 10 and got 30,000. Overall, 126 thousand gold a wonderful day of profit if i've ever seen one and so now you might be wondering wait what is it that you do with all of this money well there are many things around the town that you can spend your money on you could purchase new armor which also requires materials uh i've only just recently upgraded my armor to the second tier this like foresty stuff you've got swords and shields big fat two-handed great swords spears claws claw gang claw gang claw gang best gang and bows they're okay i guess we can also upgrade the town by having new people move in to provide new wares and services. So Vulcan's Forge is the guy I'm getting my armor and weapons from. We have the Wooden Hat, which sells us potions and weapon enhancements. We have Le Ritaleur, who sucks. We hate him. He does nothing but sell stuff that we've already unlocked at a massive increase in price. It's like three times the regular value. And then down here, we have the Hawker, who sells furniture that influences your customers. So for example, all of my furniture is set to give me extra tips from when they purchase things, but you can have it do things like make them move quicker, have the shop stay open longer. And I almost forgot about the shop upgrades. So I'm only on tier two of the shop. You can get tier three, tier four. I can't get tier three just yet because I haven't finished doing the second dungeon, but you can also upgrade things like your sail box, which I didn't use today because I didn't have anything especially cheap or trashy that I wanted to just get rid of. We have cash registers, which is already giving a 40% increase in tips whenever people are buying stuff. We also have beds. When you sleep in your bed the next day, you get uh, armor and extra free points of, of like health, so to speak. It's like a nice way to boost up before you go into a dungeon. And then we have chests, which just gives us more room for our stuff, but not our backpack. You don't get any more room when you go out to actually hunt for items, but it's basically just more room for when you're at home. Now, seeing as how it's the middle of the night and monsters are usually uh, more aggressive and give you better stuff at nighttime, from what I hear, let's go into the second dungeon that I have unlocked, the one that I'm currently working on, the foresty place, which is delightful to say the least. And let's get to work on grabbing some goodies. Hello, foresty things. Hello. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Smash it all to death. 
Grab their loot. Grab their loot. Look at this little wind dude over here. Look how cute he is. He's got a big Korok leaf. Smash him and take all of his goods. Now, I come into here. I take a look at this and I can see that these sell for 400 each. Fantastic. I'm going to keep those. Plant flesh. 60 each. Ew. Plant flesh is bad. It doesn't sell for much money at all because I'm a greedy Beals who likes to get expensive things. Strong leaves. I have no idea what strong leaves sells for. Look at that. I take a look over here. I don't know. So when I get back to the shop and I try and sell these, I'm going to have to just take a random guess. Ooh, look. We've already found where the mini boss is. Big tree. Big tree is the mini boss of the day. I'm just going to sit here and wow. Big tree did nothing. Big tree just sat there and died like a peasant. But I'm more than fine with big tree dying like that. And moving on to the second floor of the dungeon, you might be saying, wait a minute, Bills, there was more stuff back there in dungeon one. What are you doing, dude? That's because our uh, bags are going to fill up pretty quick as it is. Ow, that guy actually hit me. And so I'm not so worried about uh, getting the stuff on the first floor. I'm more worried. Wait, those are the modified seeds that Lady wanted. I should take these seeds and just uh, keep them handy in case someone else wants some seeds in the future. We do have forest fruits that destroy curses. I'm actually going to use that to destroy uh, this curse right now. So if I get more seeds, I can stack the seeds. Do I know what the seeds are worth? Not really. All I know is that they're worth probably about 800 gold. Moving right along, moving right along. These things are going to throw a big leaf. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Die. What do we have here? We have some nutritive water that sells for 1,700 fat gold. Going to stick it down here so it doesn't destroy anything. We also have some forest fruits. These forest fruits are going to destroy something to diagonal to it, so we're going to put it over there. Move our way through into the next room. What's in this room? Oh, we have a little spitter, dude. He likes to spat. We have some slimies. Very hard to see. They're tiny as all hell, but you know what? We've, we can see them. Hello, big leaf dude. Big leaf dude. Throw your big leaf thingy. Yeah! Get combo, dude. Get smacked in the face. And he drops us a bit of trash. It's okay. I'll probably vendor most of that. I say vendor, it's, that's my, my, my MMO brain kicking in, being all like, yo, vendor that trash, instead of what I should be saying, which is, I'm just going to sell it for a normal amount. Was that acid? We got some actual pure acid, which I sold for way too little last time. I sold it for 200 gold, apparently, and the lady was laughing her way to the bank. I need to find out what it's actually worth. It is worth mentioning right now. That there is a wiki, you can just look up what everything is worth and cheat and have it all told to you. So as soon as you get these things, you can just go over and be like, oh, what's this worth? It's worth about 1,000 gold. I guess I'll sell it for 1,000 gold then and not rip myself off because I didn't know. And to that, I say, you should totally be doing the game legit and figuring out the prices because that's half the fun is doing it all legit. Oh, don't, don't spit at me, dude. Don't spit at me. Yo, did you see my slime go over there and totally wreck that other slime? That inferior slim? Smash this, dude. Give me your big leaves. Give me your golden chest. Oh, the good stuff. The good stuff. Good stuff. And now if I drop this here, it cleanses all of them. So now they will all stack together beautifully. Fantastic. I love it. They all sell for roughly 2,000 gold from what I remember. So let's stick these things in here. And then I'm actually going to get rid of your curse so I can stack more if I find them. Fluid Vessel. They sell for a decent little bit. Let's take those. Let's take some more of the random stuff. And the the, the jellies. I'm not fussed on the jellies. I'm really not. We've also got an extra uh, shard here. I might ditch the Empowering Crystals this time around. Because I got some last time. And uh, not worry so much about keeping them. Depending on what kind of good uh, super gamer luck we get with our, uh, our RNG here and get some good items, some good things to take back and sell and and hopefully, you know, make a bit of a mint. And I still haven't found a secret room. It makes me so sad. I need to find a secret room for you guys. So you can see the secrets therein. Stop it. Stop it. He's hitting me. He's hitting me. These guys are hitting me. I need to be more adept at doging. There we go. Doge through. Give me that leaf. No, I don't want the slime. Fine, whatever. Actually, you know what I will do then? I'm going to take all the slime, and now that I have all the slime, I'm going to ditch all the slime. There, sell it all. Get it out of here. We have some, wait, more slime. Goodness, get rid of the slime. Some petals. The petals sell for 100 each. It's it's basically rubbish. I, I don't care. If it sells for that little, I don't care. Speaking of that little, we have plant flesh. 
I don't care about plant flesh. Get rid of the plant flesh. We also have... Wait, magic wood. Magic wood sells for a hundred each. It's also pretty booty. What's in the chest? Ah, we have a wishlisted item. That little icon means I need this for upgrading my weapons or gear. So I'm going to take it, replace the magic wood that isn't worth anything. It's worth like, what, 100? Yeah, it's worth 100 gold. I don't care. Get rid of the magic wood. We have seed powder. I've never seen seed powder before. That's that's new to me. We also have some more botany jottings, some jottings three. Well, this is kind of nice. If I do this, I can get rid of its its negative effect and then stack them together. So we've, we've kind of just taken that for nothing. Um, I'm actually even going to go a step further and send those... Oh, no, 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 wait. They will stay with me regardless. But these will uh, be destroyed if I take too much damage. So I need to just send those home now before they even get the chance to be destroyed from taking too much damage. Now I forgot to do this, but what I'm gonna do is break these up into stacks of five and seven, move this around here, put my old bulb this way because he's going to transform whatever's above him into duplicates of himself, which would be a nice big fat five stack of the bulbs out of this life fluid, which doesn't sell for a great deal. I mean, it's 400, it's, it's not bad, but I can afford to do that. That's not a problem for me at all. What will be a problem is if I don't discern what some of these mystery things are right now, because if they're not worth keeping... Oh, wait, Botany Jotting's one, just four of them. Uh, that's 8,000 gold worth of merch right there. Fantastic, I'll hold on to it. Um, if I find out that I'm holding trash in my bags for basically no reason, that makes me a very sad Beals, and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to... Find out what they are and then make my way through. Pick up some more loot, pick up some more goods. Oh, oh, spinning top. Beyblades, kill the Beyblades before they can start spinning. Break all of these. I see an opening into a uh, area three dungeon room, which is eh, it's whatever. Let's set up into here. We're gonna get area three dungeon enemies. Um, I'm not, I'm probably not even gonna keep the stuff that they drop just because it, it kind of gets in the way and makes it, ow, dude. It makes it harder to stack them all because now I'm, I've got like conflicting items in the way, right? So I could say, get rid of these two leaves and pick up these three items, but I don't know what they're worth and I'm not gonna find more of them because I'm only gonna find one of these rooms that's based on the next area. And if I don't find more rooms like it, then I'm just gonna get like two or three of them and I won't, yeah, I won't find any more and it'll just be a waste. Hello, big tree. I've come to introduce you to the glories of capitalism. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, dude, 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 stop. Dude, stop. Okay, I'll do hit him with the one, two, and the dodge. There you go, there you go. Man, rude. Oh, look, more roots and bulbs and stuff. Okay, so hang on, hang on. Take, hey, hold up, hold up. I want the roots. I want these bulbs real quick. Thank you very much. Forest dungeon level three. Let's go, dude. Beat this guy. Oh, look at this gross stuff shooting at me. Ah, don't do, don't do it. I got complacent. I got complacent, which, which is very expected for me. He's gonna spit. He's spitting. He's spitting hot fire. Ugh, kill him. Smash him to death. Mushrooms and these little gross spore looking things. They're worth nothing. They're, they're, they're trash. Empty room, it's all about the lore. Secret room, did you see that? I'll show you again. Watch that hole down the bottom. It sparkles, look, sparkles! Secret room, we fall down the hole. Normally falling down the hole hurts you, but instead we found us, we found the best secret room. This, uh, my fine friends, my ladies and gentlemen of the audience, is a secret room where whatever you drop in gets teleported back home into our chest back at home and we lose nothing from doing this whatsoever. So we've just emptied our bags effectively. Now, if I send back this fluid um, and bulb and not like it, like all of the stuff that happens in this chest doesn't take effect. So all the curses, ignore them. I could put this up here and it won't destroy that item. It doesn't matter, right? It, it actually doesn't matter, which means that my bulbs effect would be wasted and I could still benefit from transforming these life fluids into bulbs. So I'm gonna keep the bulbs. That chest is gonna run off on its own. Yay, go teleport home. Our bags are empty. We can now collect more stuff and I can show you firsthand that the mushrooms are worth trash. We get rid of those. And that these venomous spores are also worth nothing but trash. So let's get rid of those as well. 
and then make our way up. We've got some clean bags to work with. The Beyblade is spinning. Speaking of Beyblades, this guy spins his leaf like a Beyblade. You can see the enemies are tougher here, and they're uh, they're putting up more of a fight. I, is there contact damage, by the way? I can't remember. I think there's contact damage. There's contact damage with enemies that do contact damage, I guess is the way to word it, right? So if an enemy is like a ranged dude, I guess you can go up and touch him if you really want. I'm not a big fan of contact damage or testing contact damage. Whoa. We have another bulb over here that destroys curses. And we also have, what, more curse destruction. Jottings three, jottings two. You know what? Let's get rid of the curses on our jottings. So we can stack more jottings if we get the chance to stack more jottings. I like, I like the way jottings sounds. Um... Wait, we've got two jottings over here as opposed to one. Let's let's do this instead and purge the bigger stack of jottings. Put those jottings over there. Put that jottings up there. I'm going to keep the... Uh, no, take the whole stack. Grab the whole thing. There we go. Put the jottings up there. Take the vessel. Put it there. Excellent. I'm so happy that we got to uh, empty our bags and I got to show you a secret room. But also that we got to empty our bags. I can take more stuff with me. Hello, little mushy. If this guy grabs onto me, he will poison me. Thankfully, I am wearing a ring that I got here that makes me immune to poison. So a lot of the stuff in this area no longer applies to me, which is wonderful, by the way, because some of these enemies do poison you, and poison is just... It's a headache. You know what poison is. You know what it's like. Especially when it matters. There are some games where poison doesn't really do anything. It's like, oh, I'm losing 10 life. Boo-hoo. In this game, you lose probably about 10 life, <laughs> to be honest. But it's really, really annoying when you do. Because the poison can, like, like ramp up and end up killing you very quickly. What do we have in here? Some more dust. More powder. More speed powder, as they say. So, if I put the bulb over here and remove the curse on these jottings, I can put those jottings up there, and then I can take this bulb and stack it with itself over here. Why are there petals in my bags? Petals aren't worth a damn. I just picked up trash. Look, poison on the ground. Ah, it hurts, but I don't get poison status, which is a good thing. It's a great... Ah, oh, no, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, uh, die. Open up this chest. Open up this chest. I'm taking damage now. I'm actually taking damage. My life is being threatened. Um, get rid of the trash. We have an urn that sends things home. You know what? Send all the jottings home. It's a full stack. Let's go. I think that's all that we need to worry about for now. Ah, the revitalizing pool that restores my HP. How wonderful it is. Look, mmm, splish splash. Now, is this, is this like the actual boss boss? I don't know if I fought this before. I could die. Oh, it's not the boss fight yet. We'll fight the boss probably after this room. All right, all right, now it's boss time. Now, oh, 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 Goon is on the way in. No, 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 no. The eyeball down below. No, 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 no. Boss, boss, boss. I gotta kill the boss. I gotta kill the boss. See that eyeball down there? A big ghosty dude's about to spawn. Um, because I've taken too long in the dungeon. Oh, look at this boss, by the way. Oh my god, the carnivorous mute. Oh my god. Ooh, you're like hairy and viney and stuff. What's it doing? It's spitting stuff. Ow! Yo, dude, potion. Sip that pot. Oh, it's spitting out little turret things. Oh, you're annoying. Oh, you're mad annoying. Whoa, dude. Sip that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, a little bit of bullet hell. I don't mind. Okay, that vine up there? You. You, sir, can you die for me? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Hang on. Sip that anyway. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dude. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on. Roll through that. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. He's, he's getting a little on top of me here. The vines only seem to be... Wait, wait, wait. He's spitting more. The vines only seem to be up and above him, not below him necessarily. What? 
Oh, is that all my potions, by the way? It is. Okay, we're in a bit of trouble. If I get all oh, caught by anything, I need to kill these little minions. Where are your minions, dude? Are they dying on their own? I don't think they are. Okay, okay. Okay. I wonder if I could just go for the kill here. Can I go for the kill? I can go for the kill. Yes, dude! Prune the plant! Area 2 conquered. Yeah! Die! Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key for area, area 2. Give me the key. And our big... Badass chest of good stuff drops out. Look at it. Oh, it's still writhing. Oh, and it still gets stunned. Hold up. Hold up. We've got forest history books in here. We've got carnivorous mutate jottings. We've got ancient wood. All right. Ancient wood. It's not even like old wood. It's really old wood. And now our little portal opens up. Look at my little slam down there. He is determined to fight this thing. I can't believe I beat that thing on the first try. That was hype. The golem fight killed me on the first attempt. I, I did not win on my first try on the big golem dude. I got uh, a little overwhelmed. I went in without any potions. I thought, I've never used potions in this game. I won't need them. And then the boss fights, like, Haha, you will. Now, I'm going to come into the back of my shop up here and take a look in my, wait, my journal. Pardon? Oh, it just shows that I've scratched off too. Excellent. Anyway, let's take a look in my bag over here. Look at my chest. It's all the stuff we sent back earlier on in the run. And now it is time to engage in the best part of Moonlighter. Opening the sh- So at the end of the day, we had 33 customers, one more thief. Look at the jottings. 45,000 each for those 1111. And the jottings three, we had 16 of them. We made a lot of money there. 317 thousand gold. By the way, before I forget, because someone is going to mention it to me, I know someone will. I am aware that with this charged up punch ability, where you sit still and you charge up and you, you know, one, I'm aware you can steer it a little bit, but I'm also aware, thanks to my Twitch chat, that there is a glitch where if you do a jab jab and then you, you dodge immediately and hold the button in, you can skate around and hold the attack and then launch it at a tree and then launch it at a tree and then launch it at a tree, and then launch it at a tree, and then launch it at a tree, and then launch it at a, at a, launch it at a, launch it, launch, launch, ah, launch it, ah, La yes, launch it at a tree, damn it, at a tree, launch it, launch it. Launch it. Wait. 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 I, no, don't pause the get. No. Launch it at the same tree. You hit the damn tree and it drops money. Look at that. Woo. And so we're done. Monsters were slain. Loot was obtained. Money was made. And uh, yeah, this has been Moonlighter. If you guys like what you see, let me know. And I might throw some more of this up at some point. But it's, it's a very fun... I don't want to say casual because that, that implies that it's not like, you know, difficult or doesn't have a learning curve to it. It really does. But it's less about complicated, you know, strategies with building your character and, and big stats and stuff like that. And it's kind of like half and half. It's, it's literally half uh, money making shop running simulation and half roguelite. So it's, it's a bit of both worlds, you know, it's a bit of the best of both worlds. It's, it's quite addicting and quite fun once you start raking in those dollars. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.